So today I'm talking about a P0171 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0171 code? Well, it's a system to lean bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then they report this information back to the computer, which then will adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get this P0171 code, these sensors, mainly this bank one sensor one O2 sensor is reporting back to the computer that the engine is running too lean on bank one side of the engine, which basically means more air than gas is going into that side of the engine. And that the air fuel ratio mixture is off and so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why and if you have a v6 or v8 engine the engine's going to have two banks bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder so if you google your engine on like cylinder locations or firing order or something like that and you find the number one cylinder on your engine since there is differences then that side of the engine is going to be bank one and the opposite of that would be bank two and one thing to note about this P0171 code is that it can be difficult to troubleshoot. It can be caused by many different things. It can be hard sometimes to find out what the problem is. But I'm going to go over the possible causes of this. And also I'll go over how I go about troubleshooting this code. There's going to be different ways you go about troubleshooting it. But I'll go over how I go about doing it. Also, if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0171 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad oxygen sensor, mainly that bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor. Since there's going to be two O2 sensors on each bank of the engine, usually the sensor one, O2 sensor is reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off. And so if that sensor goes bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. So the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor, like a bad mass airflow sensor or bad manifold absolute pressure sensor or something like this. These sensors, like the mass airflow sensor, they're reporting back to the computer all the air that's going into the engine. And so if one of these goes bad, they might be reporting bad information, which is going to throw everything off. Usually when one of these sensors go bad, it's going to affect both banks of the engine. So if you're also getting like a P0174 code, which is the lean condition on bank two side of the engine, then that is something that would affect the whole engine. And that could be a bad sensor. Usually when one of these sensors go bad, you're going to get another code, like for example, a P0101 code, mass or volume airflow circuit A, circuit range performance. So if you are getting this code, it's a good idea to go check out that mass airflow sensor, do some tests, be sure that it's good. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor, like the mass airflow sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the fuel delivery up to the engine. Oh, and so this would be something like a clogged fuel filter or a weak fuel pump or something like that. Again, usually this would affect both banks of the engine, but it is possible that something's going on with the fuel delivery. If you do think you have a weak fuel pump or something like that, you can do a fuel pressure test. When you use one of these, you look up what your rate of fuel pressure is supposed to be for your particular vehicle. You hook this up up at the fuel rail, and then you check to see what it is. So say, for example, the fuel pressure on your particular vehicle is supposed to be running at like 55 PSI, but you check it and it's running at 50, then you know there's some kind of issue going on. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also use that to check what the fuel pressure is. Like I said, usually when there is like a weak fuel pump or something like that, it's going to affect the whole engine. But the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of fuel delivery problem. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's a vacuum leak or an intake air leak. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going into the throttle body and should be controlled by the computer. But if air is getting around the throttle body, if it's going in some other place, if it's going into the engine somewhere around this, like a broken hose or a bad gasket or something like that, then that could cause more air to go into the engine than should be, and it can throw everything off. Is there some different methods to go about trying to see if there is a vacuum leak? You can't just go around and check to see and be sure all the hoses are hooked up good and check to see if you see any issues or anything like that. A very common method is to use a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the intake. And then wherever the smoke comes out, they'll know if they have a leak or not. And they'll know where they need to go and fix it. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of vacuum leak. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector. If there's a bad fuel injector on bank one side of the engine, then that could cause problems. Usually, if there is a bad fuel injector, you'll get another code. For example, like a P0204 injector circuit open cylinder four. Or like a misfire code, like a P0301, P0302, something along those lines. So again, if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector. And so how would you go about troubleshooting this P0171 code? 
Well, basically, the first thing I would do is go test that bank wand, sensor wand, O2 sensor, and be sure that it's working the way it's supposed to be working. Because if that sensor goes bad, which does happen, it could be reporting bad information, and there might not be no problem with the engine, but the computer just thinks there is. Also, keep in mind the wiring going to that sensor. If there's anything wrong inside the wiring, that can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also, keep a lookout for any kind of exhaust leaks up around that sensor because if outside air is getting into the exhaust around this sensor, it can cause it to get a bad reading and throw everything off. So if you do go to take a look at that sensor, be sure to look out for any kind of exhaust leaks or anything like this. But the first thing I do is I go test that sensor and be sure it's working. The next thing I do is that I check to see if it's just one bank that's having the problem or if it's the whole engine. So if this is affecting the whole engine, like you're also getting like a P0174 code, then that would be more than likely like a fuel delivery problem or like a bad mass airflow sensor or something like that. If the whole engine is having problems, then it's very unlikely that the bank one sensor 102 sensor and the bank two sensor 102 sensor both failed at the same time because each bank on the engine is going to have its own O2 sensors. And it's very unlikely that both of those sensor ones have failed at the same time. Although it is possible, it's unlikely. So if the whole engine is running lean, the first thing I would do is be sure I don't have no sensor codes, possibly clean up the mass airflow sensor, and be sure that the fuel pressure going up to the engine is correct. Now, if you are only getting this P0171 code, you're not getting a P0174 or anything like that. It's only affecting one bank on the engine. Then that could be just like one or two cylinders that's throwing everything off. And again, be sure to check your codes for like any misfire codes or anything like that that might point you to that cylinder that's having a problem. If you're not getting no other codes or anything like that, you can remove the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine one at a time and check to see how they're all burning. And then you can match them up to like a spark plug burn chart so for example, say you go through the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine and cylinder number one is running lean, but all the rest are okay. Then you can focus on that cylinder number one until you find out what the problem is. And this would be something like a bad injector, a bad coil, or something along those lines. And of course, again, if you were getting something like a P0301, cylinder one misfire detected, then automatically you'd want to go check out that cylinder number one and test the injector and coil and things like this. So hopefully you're getting other codes that can help point you to see if one of those cylinders is having a problem. But if in doubt, you can remove the spark plugs one at a time and check to see how they're burning, which can help point you to what the problem is. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0171 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.